Yeah, good day viewers. You know, in one of my recent videos, I shared a video of um, most of our people in prison outside Nigeria, in Bamako, the capital of Mali, to be precise. You know, and in that video, I guessed that many of those people in that prison, which happened to be our Igbo people, may still be on awaiting trial, that many of them may have not been tried as at that time. That is what they just confirmed in this video, that many of them have been there for one year, two years, three years, four years, some even five years, even more than that, without being tried. A lot of them do not even know anything about what they committed. They were just packed there, you know? No judgment, no food. I know go about two years and I want to curse you again and I come to court nothing nothing. I use God to beg on a man on a help on a people. You know see that here. Nigerian people with their best with their best for help. We don't want to please you. We are men with more than sixty for here Nigerian women. We are more than sixty or hundred. And they told me from there here, from there here, three years, four years, five years, no judgment. Hungry. Then those that might treat us anyhow. Please, we need help. Nigerian people, anyhow, you people can help us to help us for this prison. Please, please, please suffer too much for our help. Please, I beg Nigeria. Please, government. What is, why does this kind of a thing happen? Most of this has happened because of the type of leaders we have in Nigeria. To me, I will say that it happens because of the unseriousness in the type of leaders we have in Nigeria. Because if we have serious leaders that cares about their people, that cares about the affairs of their people, there is supposed to be a committee, there is supposed to be a government body that will just focus on working on most of these things. Find out what is wrong. Find out what really happened. Most of all these people that have been there for a long time without trial. Why? You know, we need a body, we need a serious people that will be doing things like this. And that is one of the reasons why I tell my people, Ndibo, that we are not supposed to wait for, for Nigerian government to change their method of operation, to change their system of, as in their method of working. We do not, we are not supposed to wait for them because there are so many things that requires action. We don't need to talk much. All we need is action and things will begin to change, you know. For example, now, if we are to handle things like this, we are, to we, we are supposed to have a body that will move around, go to most of these prisons, find out how those people there got there, what really got them there. Most of those people that are so not supposed to be there. You bring these people back, bring most of those people out of there. Because I can boldly tell you that most of those people in that prison are not the major criminals in the world today. I am speaking out of experience. You know, most of those people in there, in that prison, are not the major criminals in the world today. So to me, we are supposed to have a body that we see for most of these things, move around, find out. If they are not supposed to be there, you bring them out. And guess what? Do you know that we can even create an environment where most of these people will be very, very beneficial to themselves and beneficial to the Nigerian people, beneficial to the society at the same time? Do you know we can create that? How are we going to do this? Now, calm down, let me tell you. Most of those large hectares of land that people are not making use of, we can convert most of those places to farm prison. We can convert most of those places to farm prison. How are we going to do this? We organize that place in a way that most of those people will be brought out of that prison to work in those government farms. You know, first of all, that will create massive employment because you will need security personnel to take care of most of those people. That is one side of the employment. You will need different professional doctors, different nurses, different uh, cooks, different high-level uh, professionals to take care of most of all those people. The cooks, I mean, is that you are not just going to bring them out and expect them to work in the prison or work in the farm and because they have been in the prison or because they are prisoners, you don't give them food. No, you don't dare that. Whatever thing that normal human being that does not have anything to do with the prison enjoys outside, you provide it for them. Even to the extent that you, you create different bank accounts 
for them with a certain bank that at the end of the day, whatever services they render there, you pay them for it. But they spend, the only difference between them and the normal people outside is that whatever thing they enjoy, they enjoy it in that farm. You build better structures for them there. They will keep working until their time expires. And it is not that they will work from maybe from morning uh, till night without uh, stopping or without whatever thing because they are prisoners. No. They work like normal human beings. And they get paid like normal human being. The only difference is that the money that they will be paid may not be up to the money that the people outside prison uh, are being paid. You understand me? But you pay them. You create account for them. You pay them. That will prepare them very, very well. So that whenever they come out from that prison, you will never see many of them go back to that same crime. Because they must have worked out a large amount of money that will take care of their need. That will even start business for some of them. And you find out that at the end of the day, many of those people that may have participated in that farm work uh, due to that uh, prison stuff will not even like to come out because because of the money they, they are being paid there, a lot of them will want to continue, to continue getting the money. You know, so you provide most of all, this, all these things for these people and you will discover that at the end of the day, even if it is ordinary yam, only yam or cassava, or tomato that most of these people decide or that the government decides for these people to be cultivating for them, you will discover that at the end of the day, the size of the produce that will come out from that their, their farming will be larger than what the whole country will need. And at the end of the day, you will discover that you, would, you will not have any other choice than to use the one that the country will use and then you export you know, to other countries where they are needed. And I will tell you that no matter the large number of more people you employ to take care of these people, the proceeds of those farm uh, produce they will produce from there, whatever thing that will be made from that sales will be more than enough to settle or to take care of the payment of whatever number of people you will employ. I'm just saying this because those people can be useful in a way, a, as in more better ways than just languishing in those prisons. And I can tell you out of experience that most people there those people in that prison are not the major criminals. I have said this and I, I'll keep saying it. Because let me come from the angle of the government. A lot of people in government today steals more than those people in the prison. How do they do this? The only difference is that they don't use the guns, they don't use the machets, they don't use most of the dangerous weapons. But I can tell you that a lot of them steal more than the people in prison. The only difference is that their own gun, their own dangerous weapon is the biro, the pen. And I can tell you that if you check very well, a lot of those people that steals with biro have caused a lot of more havoc than those people that are in the prison because of the gun. More, even more than those people that are in the prison because of different uh, uh, dangerous activities. Why did I say this? For example, if you come to the health sector, there are certain things that are supposed to have been implemented that would have saved a lot of lives in the country, but they were not implemented. Why? They were not implemented not because, of, not because of the fact that the money was not provided. The money was provided, but it was cornered. It was channeled into a different account, a different private business, instead of what it is supposed to be used for. You know? So because of that non-implementation of those policies or those uh, whatever things that are supposed to save a lot of the people, especially the poor, a lot of them died because of those things. Tell me how many number of criminals that must have killed a lot of people in that way. You know? Okay, coming from the side of the military, I will remind you that there has been that record, that there has been different, several billions that have been budgeted for the procurement of different sophisticated weapons to take care of, as in that will uh, help the army, help the officers to handle that issue of insecurity permanently. What happened to the money? Most of those uh, top service chiefs, according to record, they diverted those funds into building, as in they diverted it to building uh, different uh, universities in their different villages, in their different places, leaving that reason why that money was budgeted, just like that. At the end of the day, that insecurity escalated, that it stopped a lot of farmers from going to farm. The same reason why a lot of people have died in the country today, because they do not see anything to eat. Even the ones that are available in the market are so expensive that even the rich are complaining, the rich are crying. That is one other example. You understand me? So I can tell you that most of those people in the prison are not the only criminals in the society today. And coming, if, if you want to touch 
the most dangerous side, the spiritual side of it, I will tell you out of experience that there are so many things going on in the world today that you will never understand. A lot of people will never understand until you fall a victim of, as in, of those things in the hands of the people that are into that business. Honestly. So I am kind of suggesting this, that we need to change the way we do things. If it is undeable, we need to change the way we handle things, do things differently to get a different result. We can get into things like this, bring out most of these men, most of these men and women, create better environment, better plan for them. You will discover that crime will begin to reduce because they will produce more than enough things that the country needs. And from there, there will be serious export from their work. And it is not that they are not doing, going to be paid. They will be paid for their services. And even though they will be paid, they will provide thousands of jobs, thousands of job opportunities for those thousands of graduates that are roaming the street with a certificate without job. I'm just saying this because we need to take things very extremely, very serious to have a different result. The people in government need to take things extremely, very, very serious. You know, because I can tell you that the, the direction the society is heading today, if you don't make better plans, mind you, as I'm speaking to you, a lot of more people are giving birth to in different locations. A lot of more people in different hospitals are giving birth. So to make arrangements to accommodate everybody is not a game of children, honestly. I'm not saying this because most of all those people there, I don't see any reason why they should be there for one year, two years, three years without trial. It is uncalled for. Check very, very well. If you, find, if you can find anybody from either America, anybody from, uh, 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 from Canada, anybody from most of these developed countries, from any of the Asian developed countries, if you can find any of them in any prison, anywhere, spent like one year, two years, three years without trial, I doubt. It can never happen. Why? It cannot happen because their people are very, very serious with them. You can't just keep them there without trial. You don't dare it. But most of all these things happen to Nigerians because of the system of the type of leaders, the system of governance we have. That we only have the type of leaders that are very, very interested in looting the money, stealing the country dry without using it for something very, very important for the people. And that is one of the reasons why most of the times I suggest that we need the younger generation, younger people, younger blood that are extremely, very, very interested in making things work to handle the affairs of whatever country, whatever region, whatever thing we do. And you will see that different ideas, different new things will be brought in that will change the system. It mustn't just be the way it has been, the old ways it has been. No, things got to be done differently to get different results. You know, I do not want to say much about this. I just came across this video and decided to kind of call the attention of the people of, uh, as in the Nigerian leaders, the people at the National Assembly, the uh, senators, the House of Reps, including the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Bola Ame Tinubu. There are so much to be done. You don't just have to abandon these people because maybe they are not your family members. You don't do that. You have to create an environment that will accom accommodate everybody in the way that all of them will be fine. You know? Thank you so much for watching our videos. Thank you so much for sharing our videos. I still remain your man, Modis Mezikoba, the top class media. Do have a wonderful day. Thank you.